In this video, I'm going to show you the latest tool insert in Excel by Microsoft, and it's amazing to add data on geographic information. For instance, in this document, I have a list of country, and imagine that I want to find the population, the area, the currency name, a lot of information related to this country. To collect this information, now what you do, you go on internet for each country. But now, you have a better way to do that. Look at that. If I select my countries and I go in the tab data, I have this new function, data type and geography. So if I click on geography, as you can notice here, I have a small flag exactly like this icon. This means that now Excel is able to connect this country with the engine of Bing. Now, look, if I go in B2 and I press equal, I go in A2 and I press period. And as you can notice, I have a huge list of options and I just have to select one, like population. I press enter. And automatically, I have the population of this country. And what about the other country? Very simple. I just have to copy the formula for all the other country. Now, another example. Equal A2 dot capital. That's fantastic, especially if you have a huge list of country. But we can do something better, because instead of selecting the option one by one, I can write this option in the first row and use it as a parameter to create my function. And for this, there is a new formula. So let's say here I want the area. And I want to connect this name with all my country. And to connect these two information, I'm going to use a new function create just for this, it's fill value. I select my country and I lock on the colon and I select my header and I lock on the row like this. And now if I extend, it works. Another test with the calling code. And I just have to copy this formula here and it works. But we can do also something better than that. If we insert this data in a table, it's much better. Look at that. So I delete my colon here. I still keep my country and I insert in a table. Great. And now look at this option. If I click here, I have exactly the same list of options when I press period. And not only I have the information, but also my header is the option I have selected. So yes, it works for the country. But does it work for the states or for the city? Let me show you this. So now let's say I want to collect some information regarding the states of Brazil. So for that, I'm going to import the list of states of Brazil in Excel with the tool Power Query. So to import this list, I go in data from web and I paste the link of Wikipedia. I collect all the list here, edit, and I select just few colon just to check. Like this, right click, remove other colon. That's it, close and load. 
And that's it. So if you have never used Power Query, you never know what is it. In fact, it's the best tool to import information or to manipulate data in Excel. So, okay, so here I have all the states of Brazil. So again, I select my colon. I return to data, geography. So I have the flag here. So that means Excel understand that this information is a geographic information. I can have all the detail if I click on the flag like this. But now what I want just to check here if this information are accurate. So I click here, capital. Yeah. What is the area? This one. What is the population? This one. It's fantastic. But now let's do that for the cities. For the cities, I return once again on Wikipedia and I take the list of cities in Florida and there is a lot. So once again, I return to Excel with Power Query. Data from the web. I paste the link of the website. I'm going here to keep the name, the population and their area, but for the area I have to make a small manipulation, but it's very simple with Power Query. I add a new colon, colon from example, and I just have to copy what I want, so it's 75.2, enter. Okay, it looks great. Okay, I validate. That's fantastic. Here its area and I select the place, the population area, remove other colon. Okay, so I select all my colon with my name, data, geography one more time. Ah, it seems that this city is unknown, only one. Otherwise, if I have more than one, I will have here the information. But because I have no idea, I'm not able to correct it. So what is a population? Very simple. That's it, it match, that's great. But what is absolutely gorgeous with the city, you can easily collect latitude and also long longitude. And like that, just in two clicks, you have this information for the city and the GPS coordinate. It's fantastic. So now I let you play with the tool because it's great. Use it with your country, your states or your area, county, uh, region, whatever, it's amazing.